Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to explore Framer, which is an amazing design tool, which is going to enable you to create advanced websites just like this one right here. Now, Framer has been around for a while, but it's just in the past one or two years that it's really bringing itself in this design spotlight. So we're going to have a quick look at it. And overall, if you haven't tried Framer, you're definitely missing out. So be sure to stay tuned in this video as we're going to explore all the different features. And one of the most important things to learn and acknowledge about Framer is this new site's ability, which it's um, given recently. So you can uh, literally work uh, either directly on Framer as a design tool or have your websites uh, created in Figma and then you can export them in a Framer with uh, a plugin which enables you to do that in just one click. Uh, it's really seamless, uh, the transition, because one of the things which I'm always worried about uh, when it comes to these plugins which bring a file from one software to the other is, uh, is the software still going to be actually, um, or the file, is the file layering uh, and uh, you know groups system going to be translated uh, well? And uh, the answer is, uh, it is. And as you're going to see in just a moment, uh, Framer offers a lot when it comes to uh, the design tools as well as the website features alone. So once you go here, you're going to see a get started button, which is going to enable you to sign up essentially. So it's going to be very fast. You can decide how you want to sign up. I think it's either with email or uh, social media like Google. And uh, essentially when you go in the Framer app itself, which you can download also as a standalone, I'm using the web version, but you can download it as a standalone app on your Mac. And essentially what you're going to see here is uh, just the home screen with uh, uh, a few very useful video tutorials, which uh, makes make you understand how to create a, a website uh, in a very fast and efficient way and how to navigate through the Framer uh, software itself. And uh, you're also going to see recent projects um, on the left, uh, something we, which is uh, really useful, especially as you're um, creating is going to be the templates. You can basically find the templates uh, on the uh, Framer website. So if you go over here under templates, uh, you're going to see all sorts of different templates which you can use. Of course, as we're seeing here, there are some premium ones, but also free ones. Uh, my recommendation is when you're first starting out, uh, uh, would be to just uh, get a free template uh, and start experimenting with the software so that you can get your, your feet wet. and. Uh, Basically, that's uh, what we're going to do in uh, this instance. So I got this template uh, from uh, uh, the Framer Marketplace. It's free and uh, you can uh, follow along uh, together. And uh, as we open up uh, this uh, view, you can see that uh, uh, this website, uh, which you can see also the preview by clicking on uh, the play button. And we're going to hide the UI so that you can see exactly how the website uh, is going to look like in real life. So as you can see, we have these nice animations, uh, this uh, transition screens, which are very smooth. And uh, just overall, the, the experience is, uh, is great. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, we are at a point where uh, a tool like this uh, can completely substitute uh, maybe Webflow or some other more advanced website builders. But for some instances where you need uh, a more simple website, I think it's definitely really, really useful to, uh, to consider. And uh, as we go back uh, on the actual Framer uh, tool itself, uh, you can see that uh, you're going to have uh, different versions for desktop, tablet, and uh, phone. And uh, what this uh, enables you to do is to create a responsive version. So you can set uh, exactly the breakpoints when it comes to, to this. Uh, and uh, overall, the tool behaves uh, very similarly to Figma. 
and I'm going to show you exactly how in uh, uh, this demo. So you're going to notice a, a main difference between Figma and Framer on uh, the left side, especially since uh, you're going to see this uh, pages view and uh, the pages essentially, as the name suggests, uh, tell you in which page of the website you're on. So the entire website is going to be hosted directly on uh, this uh, um, on this uh, file right here. So you can see and browse through the different pages. And as I select the layers and I start selecting uh, maybe like a, a text layer over here, you're going to immediately feel at home if you're a Figma user because uh, you can see how similar this is uh, behaving uh, to, to Figma. So you can see pretty much, uh, I wouldn't say all of the options, but 95, all the way to maybe 99% of, of uh, uh, the options which you're used to seeing uh, in uh, Figma. You're going to see them here. Some are slightly different, but for the very most part, you're going to feel at home when it comes to uh, to working in Framer, but there's going to be some uh, differences, especially when it comes uh, to <clears throat> the way that you're going to have to export the Figma file in order for it uh, to work uh, uh, really well off the bat uh, in uh, Framer uh, when it comes to creating the website, because you're going to have to rely a lot on uh, the auto layout features because the auto layout features are behaving in a very similar way to uh, some CSS uh, properties uh, and uh, basically it's going to help with the layout. We're going to create, we're going to discuss this uh, more in advance in uh, a future video. But overall, that's uh, uh, just a, uh, something that I want to have out there for you to, to keep in mind. So if you're using auto layout in your projects, uh, uh, on a regular basis, uh, you're going to have uh, uh, a, really, a really smooth ride whenever you're going into Framer. And as you can see over here, uh, you also have uh, all the components, uh, which is uh, exactly the same as Figma, pretty much. <laughs> you also have the same icons. So there's a lot uh, which uh, you can reutilize when it comes uh, to your previous Figma knowledge when you're going to Framer. So, very very easy to do a lot of things now this is it when it comes to the <clears throat> main overview i'm going to create uh, more videos uh, in uh, the following weeks uh, where we're going step by step uh, in uh, all of these uh, different uh, um, menu items and uh, basically learning framer from scratch this is just a bird's eye overview hope it was helpful and uh, if you want to learn more about ui ux design I'm uh, myself a UI UX designer with over a decade of experience and uh, I have a YouTube channel with over 500 videos. So if you want to learn more about uh, this field, feel free to check out my other videos. And until then, we'll uh, uh, stay tuned on the next uh, Framer News.